right, welcome to the 1965 Galaxy 500, originally used in the Andy Griffith Show and many, many major motion pictures over the years. California car. We're just in the process of building it for Missing Children and uh, Fireball Run 2011. We're over here at uh, Paul Iverson's shop, building, polishing, painting, and mechanically making this 65 Galaxy uh, a little newer than it was in 1965. Uh, we've been working on it for about, I'd say, a month and a half. I have another couple of weeks. We'll be in the Edison Parade of uh, Light Parade in downtown Fort Myers with it for its debut the 19th of this month. And you'll be seeing it uh, throughout the, the months and throughout the year at, at major events. Universal Studios, Bear Jackson, and places in between. Looking forward to everybody coming up uh, and visiting with us at these uh, different venues. And wish us luck in Fireball 2011. Have you got a lot more to do uh, on the car here? It looks like you still got to do the whole front end. Yeah, we've got to finish putting back all the chrome pieces, finish the interior, pull the seats out, carpeting, door panels, waiting on uh, products and parts from vendors to finish it. Uh, hopefully within the next 10 days we'll have everything in place and the car will be uh, ready to drive home. A lot of work, but we Just love it put the emblem on today. Did you have somebody locally make that? Yeah, a friend of ours, uh, a friend of, a friend of uh, Paul's actually, that uh, put it together for us. Did it in gold leaf, something different. Not exactly standard for 65, but nothing we do is standard. Good looking car. Well, thank you so much. A lot of work. Uh, we found it in uh, Homo Sasso, Florida. It was in a field. A friend of ours uh, was storing it there, and we dragged it out, put it in a trailer, and brought it home uh, with all of the wasps, scorpions, and such. Uh, pretty clean at this point. Once we get it uh, completely rebuilt, it will be a one, one sweet ride. Walk around it with me. We just painted the trunk lid. This car had been probably six, seven different colors since its inception. Black and white police squad, all of the vintage year 65. Painted it blue, they painted it turquoise. Uh, being in a lot of major motion pictures, they really did take a lot of due diligence in their paint work. So we've had to uh, work ex <laughs> uh, extra hard to make it what it is today. But the trunk lid was blue underneath and Paul just shot it. The paint on it this morning. And Do you know any other movies that it was in? Catch Me If You Can with uh, DiCaprio, and I haven't talked to uh, the original uh, movie owner out in California yet, a friend of ours named Movie Mike, uh, to get all of the rest of the movies it was in, but quite a few which we'll uh, know within the next couple of weeks. And you'll be... Andy, Andy and Barney in this car from the Andy Griffith Show. And it's got a lot of uh, movie history. They, this car has been used in jumps, uh, a lot of a lot of daredevil stunts. I'm assuming by the frame uh, straightening and frame welding <laughs> and everything else. The mud, 50 pounds of mud when they were Baja and you threw who knows what over the years. So we <laughs> we've been doing nothing but pressure cleaning and getting it to a point where you see it today. It's got a big. Uh... Ford Interceptor 390 cubic inch V8 in it. Yeah, with a big Holley four barrel from the factory. We're uh, still working on cleaning up the underside of the hood. Painted the underside of the hood as well. And just got to detail the engine compartment. Not going to make it a show car, but when you open up the hood, you still got to be, uh, you don't want to stand back and go, what the hell did they forget to do the hood? <laughs> <laughs> the engine compartment. Yeah, I can see the blue paint on there. Yeah, that was the, the blue that was in here and the trunk. It was black and white when we got it, except all the blue, they didn't feel it. They had a paint under the hood and under the trunk. You well, can't see that from 50 feet away. In a movie behind the away. scenes in a movie, right? Exactly. Behind the scenes, a lot of behind the scenes work that was kind of uh, not done right. It's so. even got a separate solenoid system. They had a battery in the trunk. Apparently, they'd leave this thing sit on set with the lights on. The original um, lenses up front melted. <laughs> Apparently just the heat from the lights uh, sitting at a movie lot or sitting on scene and then of course the big uh, 
cherry on top ran through the separate solenoid, so the backup battery, you didn't have to have the engine running apparently, and it, uh, so I kept all that. I didn't put the battery back in the trunk, but I've got it wired so that you can put something back there and you can just run the, run the lights and the siren hmm. uh, without having the engine running, so. So you're going to uh, be in the fireball run, which is when? Uh, fireball this year starts the 24th of, of September. Seven days, 2,500 miles, and it's going to be starting at the, at the Kennedy Space Center. And you'll be one of the drivers? Yeah, it's, uh, there's five of us in the car this year. The first year we did it was in 07. This year uh, there's going to be or four, four drivers that year, five this year, including my wife, and everybody's going to be dressed. I'm Andy Taylor. We've got uh, Paul Irison is Barney. We've got Rob Fox, which is Otis. Um, we've got... Uh, he Obi. drinks a lot, I take it. Yeah, well, he fit the part. <laughs> Dressed and fits the part quite well, actually. And my, <laughs> my wife's going to be Helen Crump. So we've got the, everybody covered, and it's, uh, it should, get, should raise a lot of awareness for missing children and a lot of fun uh, getting out and meeting people. Are you guys looking for some sponsorship to help you with the project? At this point, uh, we hadn't pushed for sponsorship, but now that the car is getting into completion and it's going to be going all over Florida, and Bear Jackson wants, uh, wants it there through Sherwood Williams that donated the paint for the car. Uh, we're looking for um, sponsors that would like to you know, get involved and put their name on the car. Media attention is huge. It will uh, see a lot and reach a lot of people throughout the next uh, six months before even the race. And then that week... Do you, do you have a phone number or a, a website that they can reach you? You know, we haven't set the website up yet because the car wasn't complete. That will be coming up soon. But a uh, phone number that you can get a hold of us is area code 239-994-4459. And that is my cell phone. Uh, so the one reaching uh, us will be me talking back to them. Uh oh we got Classic Autosports and Paul Everson standing behind you. Uh, Paul is uh, Barney, and you'll see you've seen a lot more of this man. This is where the work's being done, and we'll see you at the fireball run. <laughs>